In front of me I have a brand new Xiaomi Mi 6. You might remember its predecessor, the Xiaomi Mi 5 from last year. It ended up on my shelf of shame with some other weak smartphones that I've tested in the past. So let's hope that Xiaomi has implemented my suggestions from last year's video and designed a more solid Mi 6 device this year. Let's get started. Right out of the box, I'm already a fan of this phone's design. Incredibly glossy and very, very black. It feels heavy and cold in my hands, which is something that my mind instantly associates with quality. Xiaomi calls this phone splash resistant, but they don't give it an IP rating. So if it survives my durability test, I'll open it up and see how water resistant it really is compared to the Samsung's or new iPhones. As with all of my durability tests, let's start with the scratch test. My most picks help us test the screen for plastic, or for screens with inferior glass that would scratch at a level 3 or 4 and be damaged by keys and coins. On some rare occasions we'll get to see the ultra premium materials like sapphire on the HTC U Ultra that scratched at level 8. Normal phones with tempered or gorilla glass will scratch at level 6. Fun fact, my Mi 5 durability video from last year has been viewed by 2 million people, but only 3% of those views are from inside the United States. The Xiaomi brand is much more popular outside the US than inside. The glass scratched at a level 6, which means keys and coins will have no effect on the display, and it is pretty durable. This is on par with other flagships and is actually pretty impressive because the Mi 6 is about half the price of a Galaxy S8. Next comes the fingerprint scanner. Since cell phones are usually bumping around in your pants pocket or jiggling around inside of a purse, sometimes the home button can get scratched. Luckily for the Mi 6 though, the scanner is hidden under a glass layer which means that it is scratch resistant to most objects, including my razor blade. It does not appear to be ceramic though, like the Mi Mix, since there are marks from my level 6 and 7 picks. Ceramic won't scratch until level 8. The 8 megapixel front facing camera is covered by the screen glass, so it is protected. And the metal earpiece sits completely flat with the surface of the screen, giving a flush, clean look to the phone. Hopefully this will also help keep dirt out of the speaker grill since there is no lip to get caught in. Now Xiaomi does have a deluxe version of the Mi 6 that comes with a ceramic back. I just have the regular version though with the rear glass panel. Even with just the glass, my razor blade does no damage at all to the sleek surface. Or the Mi logo. The Mi 6 has two 12 megapixel rear facing cameras. Similar to the iPhone 7 Plus setup, one is a regular lens and the other has a 2 times optical zoom, so you can take zoomed in pictures with no image quality loss. This is actually a pretty cool feature and I found myself using it regularly on the iPhone 7 Plus when I was testing it out for a few months. I would like to see it on more phones. Lucky for the Mi 6, everything is covered with that glass, even the two-tone flash, so that definitely gets a thumbs up from me. Now one of the main problems I had with the Mi 5 was the inferior metal alloy that was used for the phone body. The lightweight, cheap metal and lack of internal midframe allowed the phone to snap in half completely during my bin test. But with the Mi 6, my razor blade is able to scratch the surface of the metal, but unable to carve out any shavings on the metal itself. It is much harder. The phone has an IR blaster at the top, which can be used as a remote control. That's pretty cool. It almost makes up for the lack of upgradable storage. The dual SIM card tray is metal, but the phone does not allow SD card memory expansion. Kind of a bummer. Physically, I was pretty impressed with this phone right up until I realized there are not enough holes. It is missing the headphone jack entirely. I'm definitely not a fan of removing still relevant and useful features from cell phones. Like I said earlier, Xiaomi does claim the phone is splash proof, and I'm sure removing the headphone jack made sealing the phone much easier for them while keeping the price low. It does have a USB-C port though, so that's good. The Mi 6 has a 5.1 inch 1080p IPS LCD display. This means that the flame from my lighter kills the pixels after about 10 seconds. The Mi 5 had a reaction after 4 seconds, so Xiaomi more than doubled their apocalyptic response time. In all seriousness though, this phone might just have thicker glass, or a more durable LCD. It's hard to say for sure, but considering this phone has a 31% weight increase over the Mi 5, it's probably using better materials. Let's admire the design for just a second, in case it's the last time we get to see this phone in one piece. The Mi 6 has four-sided curved glass. The glass doesn't just wrap around and fold on one side like on the S8, it literally curves in every direction, top, bottom, left, and right, which does make for a pretty darn good looking phone. And now for the bin test. 
Applying pressure to the back glass yields a small flex in the device, but nothing permanent and nothing catastrophic. The phone is still 100% functional. Bending from the display side of the phone has the same effect, nothing. The phone returns to its original shape. This device is an absolute winner when it comes to build quality, an incredibly massive improvement over last year's Mi 5, and it could very well be the new king in the realm of inexpensive flagships. I'm definitely not a fan of removing the headphone jack or the SD card slot, but when it comes to durability, this thing is a champion. If you enjoyed watching the major quality improvement from the Mi 5 to the Mi 6, hit that subscribe button. Subscribing is totally free and helps me continue to make videos like this in the future. Come hang out with me on Instagram and Twitter, and together we'll make sure all devices in the future have a solid build quality. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around.